Ever wondered if a machine could convincingly impersonate a human? Well, that's what Turing test is all about. So, without further ado, let's dive into a fun and intriguing quiz about this fascinating concept. Question 1. Who is the brain behind the Turing test? Is it A. Alan Turing, B. Isaac Newton, C. Charles Babbage? Give it a thought. And the answer is A. Alan Turing. The Turing test is named after Alan Turing, the British mathematician and early computer scientist. Moving on to question two. What year was the Turing test proposed? Was it A, 1950B, 1960C, 1948? Think about it. And the answer is A, 1950. Turing proposed the concept in his paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence. Now, to question three. What is the main purpose of the Turing test? Is it A, to measure the intelligence of a machine B, to measure the processing speed of a machine C, to measure the storage capacity of a machine? Take a moment. And the right answer is A, to measure the intelligence of a machine. The Turing test is a measure of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior. On to question four. What is the basis of the Turing test? Is it A, the machine's ability to solve mathematical equations? B, the machine's ability to play chess C, the machine's ability to convince a human that it is another human give it a thought? And the correct answer is C, the machine's ability to convince a human that it is another human. The Turing test is based on the idea of conversation and deception. And finally, question five. What is a common criticism of the Turing test? Is it A, it is too easy for a machine to pass B. It does not accurately measure machine intelligence C. It is too difficult for a machine to pass. Think about it. And the answer is B. It does not accurately measure machine intelligence. Critics argue that the Turing test measures a machine's ability to mimic human behavior, not its intelligence. So, how did you fare? If you answered three or more questions correctly, you're on your way to becoming a Turing test expert. Keep learning, stay curious, and always question the boundaries of technology. Until next time, happy computing.